Mobley. And he could barely get it to the rim last night. Looking at an answer from three, and there it is, Eric Durham, who was a little quiet yesterday to get to the championship game in a one-bid league. Drum right, wads three, and he's got it with range. Jacksonville State by one. Mentioned that because the bench last night was almost a non-factor yeah. for JSU. 15 total minutes played off the bench and zero points from reserves. Greg Tucker with the basket there for Jacksonville State. Wide open look, Tucker. So this defense is designed to get out on shooters to match up with the guards, but Tucker again, wide open on the perimeter. For the first time, the Skyhawks were here a year ago, lost to Austin P. First championship game appearance for Jacksonville State. This zone has been effective. They're forcing this basketball to go east-west. Nothing is north and south. And drum right with Butler right up against him. Makes it a seven point lead for the Gamecocks. They rebound well on both ends of the floor, but especially on the offensive end, eighth best in the country. With contact, Durham has the strength to deliver. Probably. One seed versus a nine seed. As Joe Lenardi said just a few minutes before we got started, they're safe barring any big upset as a number one seed. Greg Tucker got bonked on the noggin and still finishes the shot, so a chance for three. BYU, for whatever reason, goes to Spokane and plays well. As we look at the replay, as Tucker knocks down the shot. Another guard that's got a good lower center. Just seven seconds for Tucker. Count the basket and the foul as Rowe goes to the floor. And within the last 30 seconds, he's picked up a pair of personals. Gee, I wonder what Ray Harper talked about during the last timeout. You think it might have been, hey, guards, you got to be a little bit more aggressive. You got to put the ball on the floor. You got to make plays inside. That's exactly what Jacksonville State's doing right now. They've made some good adjustments against this zone over the last couple possessions. That's his spot. Durham for the second time. Hits the three-pointer from the wing. Durham wanted Giga instead, Tucker. And it pays off, three-pointer from Tucker. What a tournament he's having. Holding for one shot to end the half. Oh, drum right, keep an eye on drum right. Slicing down the lane, Edwards delivers with two seconds left. And that last shot attempt. Comes up short and was a little bit too late. Greg Tucker had 18 yesterday and continues to deliver in the title game. The hands down. No He's space right. for Edwards. Nearly threw it away. Durham's going to chuck it up. And he connects on a big time three. Jacksonville State needed a big basket. You got to have a sit down and shut up guy that's willing to make shots. Eric Durham just told everybody to sit. Whoa! Emphatic! We got this thing under control. Then Tyreek Edwards skips it. Dika! And a defensive surge has brought some energy back to the Skyhawks. Beautiful feed. Even better finished by Durham soaring and scoring. Durham, a willing shooter. Edwards, one on two. Yes! Boy, Tyree Edwards. Crow is there to hedge. Now turns back and watches a three. Around and out. Second chance. Cross. Got it. That's his job. Great ball movement from one side to the other. And drum right turns it into three. There's a closer. A drop off. A bounce feed. And one for Giga. Toss Giga inside from Christian Cunningham. Or just lays it right down there on the deck where the big fella can see it and that deposits it. Martin has missed its last six field goal tries and a lapse on defense allows Edwards an unmolested pass to the basket. Oh, Ray Harper's going to get all of his guards into play against this full court pressure. Really good job of reading offensively and taking advantage by. 
A minute to go to decide the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament Champion. And momentum favors Jacksonville State as Eric Durham gets two more. Attack, attack, attack against full court pressure. And the answer is no. Ray Harper has worked his postseason magic once again. Jacksonville State is going to the big dance for the first time. There is relief, there is joy and sadness, but for the Jacksonville State Gamecocks, nothing but smiles. They're going to the NCAA tournament. Let's send you back now to Chris Hassel in the studio.